Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. While we've been wedding planning, I've been trying to find my perfect scent, and the things that Scentbird sent us last time were very helpful. And this time, they sent us things for Caleb. We got Electric Wood by Room 1015, which he loves. This smells like fresh cut lumber with a spicy twist. We also got Joseph Abood, Modern Gentleman. This is a lot stronger than something I would typically like, so I'm not gonna have him wear that on the wedding day. And then we also got Parfums de Marley Paris Pegasus, which is a cologne, but as y'all know, I like a cologne. And look at this beautiful bronze case. So I personally really like this one. Simpert is reimagining everything about how people discover, shop for, purchase, and even experience fragrances. Simpert acts as a place to discover your individuality and gives each and every person the power to express themselves through fragrance. Simpert lets you choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for just $17. Every month you get to pick what you want to receive, so there are no surprises. They have perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options. With each fragrance, you'll receive a 30-day supply so you can try the fragrances before committing to a full-size bottle. You can discover new fragrances by taking a simple quiz on Scentbird. Based on your preferences, previous purchases, and quiz answers, they'll help you find the fragrance you'll love. Scentbird carries Prada, Gucci, Versace, and niche brands like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. Make sure to use our code T-S-E-S-B for 55% off your first month. And thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the show. Hello everyone, and welcome back to a different style of episode. This is my Uncle Jason. Hey there. He is a fantastic photographer, and he's going to be taking some photos today. So this is kind of a photo, photo journal, photo story, photo yeah. story. Uh, essentially about him following me around doing some work today getting way better photos than I ever could because he's way better at it than me <laughs> yeah. Um, So yeah, I know how to put things together. He is the eye for photography. So uh, let's get at it. Shall we? Let's take it away Hey there, Uncle Jason here. I am married to Caleb's aunt I've known Caleb since he was about 15 years old You know, we're really proud of what he's doing here at the house all the hard work he's put in I came in today to get some photos of the house and the hard work he's been doing. You know, it's an ever-changing environment and this house is really a photographer's dream. So let's see what fun stuff we can find today, shall we? You know, I figured we'd head to the third floor to start. You don't get to see much of it in the show, so let's see what interesting things we can find up here. This, this chair, I'm not really sure why Caleb has this here, but uh, we've got a good photo of it. Good start to the day. Continuing up to the third floor. Just the hallway itself is, is really cool. Just, there's tons of fun photos all over this house. And then continuing down this hallway, I see this really interesting closet. You know, what did they have in here a hundred years ago? What did they use it for? It kind of piques my curiosity. As you can see, I really like taking photos in black and white, but stick around to the end of the video. I promise to include some really good color photos at the end. This is a really small room. What, what is Caleb going to use this for, I wonder? Maybe a nursery someday? Maybe? Maybe? Never. And then moving into this other room, there's, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. It's a work in progress for sure. A lot of chaos going on in here. But I see this really interesting, I think it's a gas valve, like a shutoff valve. Got a good photo of it. But you can't uh, leave without taking some photos of this wallpaper. It's really beautiful. I can't help myself. I, I'm going to include a color one here for you so you can see it. Beautiful. And then same room, I, I noticed there's a a hole in the ceiling. I don't think water's getting in, but it's definitely a hole right now. Okay, let's gotta get that fixed soon. And then right below that, there's this, I think it's a, the side of a bathtub, perhaps? A railing? I'm not sure. It's really cool. And then moving back downstairs a bit, this is one of the best places of photography of the, the entire house. There's such interesting shadows coming in. Try to capture that. 
work on this one here, trying to get a couple different angles of it. Got a really good one coming up here, once again in black and white, but the color one's at the end of the episode, you'll have to, you'll have to stick around for that. And then we find Caleb here working on the second floor. We find the source of all that noise. He's been working, grinding on this, it's this part of this machine. It's like a, a plate with the St. Louis marked on it. And he's, he's working on restoring it. Someone had repaired it, but done a kind of a lousy job. So he's, he's trying to make it look more natural. Tell me about some of the history of it and what he's trying to do. A good photo of it here. Wide angle photo coming up. And then in this same room, I noticed the medallion. If you uh, watched a couple months ago, this medallion fell and broke into hundreds of pieces. Caleb uh, worked painstakingly to to get this thing back together, and I must say he's done. An amazing job. Really shows you what he's capable of with his artistry and his craftsmanship. And this thing, it's it's incredible. It, it is beautiful. You don't see those in houses today Not like this. Caleb worked really hard on it. Back together. I think it's going to look great once it's up. Uh, but, you know, seeing this medallion here give me an idea. So, here's a bigger picture of it. So we move into this other room uh, at the back of the house here. And this is the hole that his father fell through. There, there he is there, John. He fell through that hole, knocking the medallion off. So I wanted to get some pictures of John looking into the hole. They turned out really, really cool. And then... I saw Caleb, he was looking up at us, so I had, couldn't help myself. I had to get a photo of Caleb looking up at us. It was really a good photo, unplanned. But I decided, you know what, since we got that, we got to have John looking up at us. Moving down to the first floor here, the bathroom that Caleb has completed. Uh, you saw this in the episodes. He worked really hard for months on this bathroom. It's nearly done. There, there's a few little things he has to do still, but it's, it's very operational. It looks beautiful. Some great photos here. Some of the best. Really gives you an idea of what Caleb was capable of and where he's going. His long-term vision with this house It's going to be great. Then to the uh, grand staircase here. You know, there's a lot of good photos here, but it's a tough environment. There's a lot of stuff happening and not very, not very good light. But there's some really great woodwork, some intricate details here. Had to capture those. They just don't make houses like this anymore. It's beautiful. Because of the, the challenging light, I decided to put one of my flashes halfway up the stairs to give us a little bit more light, more shadows, and more depth. We've got a couple really good photos here. Take a look. This one, the other angle. Which one do you like better? I like them both, but they're the same place, just subtle differences. Then um, in the great room here, I did get a couple photos of the phonograph really cool piece there and then I took a picture of this portrait here use my flash to get a couple different photos of it I don't think it's actually Mr. Brown but it, it kind of looks like him a bit I like that one a lot then I went down to the basement uh, there's a bunch of stuff going on right now Caleb was working really hard in the basement and uh, there's some really cool machines that he got. And these Holland Brown machines were set up there. So, 
had to get a couple photos of those. St. Louis, of course. More parts of the machine that hang on the ceiling, I believe. And then right next to this, I saw this old refrigerator. And uh, I don't know, it just stood out to me. I was like, I gotta take a photo of this. General Electric. Yeah, there it is. You never know what you're going to get uh, when you open an old refrigerator, but this one, luckily, it's in really good condition. And uh, if you need instructions on how to clean your refrigerator, I'll pause the video there and you <laughs> got a couple instructions. It's pretty cool that they have that. And then we catch up with Caleb, working on this metal grate. He's reinstalling it after refurbishing it, making it look real, like brand new, basically. The outdoor framing is all new. He's been working really hard on that. It looks awesome, <laughs> by the way, brand new. If I was a nicer uncle, maybe I'd help him lift that really heavy grate, but uh, he's got it, strong guy. And then I, I head inside to get a different angle of him working here. It wasn't fitting exactly right. You know, these older houses, not everything is level or square, so you have to really sometimes have to work to get stuff installed. Which is fine because it gets some good photos for us here. So. Love these here, high key. Really beautiful. So, that'll do it for the photo tour. Plan is to release this video on Caleb and Kim's wedding week. Give those folks a bit of a rest during their big week. Don't worry, they'll be back soon. I do plan on getting some good photos of their wedding, so look for those as well. You know, Caleb isn't one to ask for handouts, so maybe I'll do that for him. Please support these folks by subscribing, checking out their Patreon, buying a t-shirt or two. I know I did. But alas! I promise you guys some color photos. I put some together to the tune of original songs sent in by a fan of the channel. We'll put a link to the song in the show notes. I think you'll like it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is for Caleb and Kim. There's an old looking house in the middle of town. People talk about tearing it down. Let alone came a person with energy. Just about time to save history. Sometimes it's better to see what it could be the open news. Black ones for her staying, of course. Make it right. Tearing out the broken to make it new right. Put a little polish on this tarnished tone. Bring it back to life like it once was her staying, of course. Make it right. Tearing out the broken to make it new right. Piece by piece, brick by brick. Come back to life right before our eyes. St. Louis is the place of this old broken home. Back all the treasures etched in stone. Sometimes it's better to see what it could be the open new. Black ones were her staying, of course. Make it right, tearing out the broken to make a new right. Put a little polish in this color tone. Bring it back to life like it once was her staying, of course. Make it right, tearing out the broken to make a new right. Mr. Brown was an owner of Home Brown Machines, lived in his house when it was pristine. This was his home in the early years, so many stories of his career. Sometimes it's better to see what it could be the open new, like once for her staying of course. Make it right, tearing out the broken to make a new right. Put a little polish on this tarnished tone, bring it back to life like it once for her staying of course. Make it right. Tearing up the broken to make a new ride. Sometimes they see only broken lines. He's building up to save history. He'll stay the course and make it right. Tearing up the broken to make a new ride. Tearing up the broken to make a new ride. Thank you to Sempert for sponsoring this video. Make sure to use our code. 
T-S-E-S-B for 55% off your first month.